And then a company came in and bought the rights to to your story. It's a company called Red, Red Granite Pictures. Right. Red Granite Pictures was a company that was owned by a guy named Riza Aziz. Correct. Who later on had basically siphoned off Someone hundreds of millions. Believe, right. He stole $3 billion from the Malaysian government. He stole three billion dollars from the Malaysian government. <laughs> well, and apparently Leonardo DiCaprio was paid with paintings. He got paid with a three million dollar Picasso and a nine million dollar Basquiat. I, 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 that's misleading to say. <laughs> like Leo, I don't think I've ever met a guy with more integrity than Leo DiCaprio. I, I'm, I'm saying that as a fact. Okay, Leo is not a guy that would that would knowingly take money that he thought was stolen. Leo is naive. He's an actor. He's not a financial wizard or anything like that. He's a great guy. He's a humanitarian. He's generous. But like, you know, he didn't know that the money was stolen. No, you know, listen, I had my suspicions very early on, not that the money was stolen, but that they were just milking it from Arab sheiks. And I thought they were just like taking pot daddies and, and you know, the, the people's money and just spending it like wild badges. I had no idea the money was literally stolen out of the sovereign wealth fund. That would be, how would you know that, right? That came out many years later. But when Leo was being wined and dined and bought and getting presents from them, that was independent of what he received for making the Wolf of Wall Street. He just, they were giving him gifts. A lot of people give Leo gifts. People give me gifts, right? But Leo was Wait, Leo. wait, 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 wait. A $9 million Basquiat is not just a gift you give to someone for having dinner with you, okay? No, it is. <laughs> it is. From this guy, Jolo, he spent $7 million on, on Paris Hilton's birthday party. This guy didn't give a shit about money. $9 million to, to this guy was like literally a cup of coffee. He was, it was all stolen money. He was, when I, the reason I knew the money was stolen, or I thought there was some, some, Something going on was when I showed up for the launch party of the Wolf of Wall Street. This is before it's even filmed. I sold them the rights. They flew me to con for a party to say they bought the rights. I walked into this party. They must have spent $10 million on the party. I looked at my dead wife and said, I promise you this is not going to end well. She's like, why? I'm like, no one would spend this much money unless there was something they were getting it without, you know, doing the work for it. So I would really not fault Leo for this at all. I mean, like he wouldn't know. He's an actor. Well, right, because the company was ultimately sued by the Justice Department. They had to pay $60 million to settle. Uh, the reason I mentioned those paintings is because Leonardo DiCaprio had to give back yeah. the, the Basquiat and yes. the Picasso back to the government, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that, that, like, listen, what I'm saying is that it wasn't like he took them knowing they were stolen or the money was stolen. And nor was it in lieu of a movie. He just was getting gifts. Like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then he had to give them back because they were stolen money. But it wasn't like he got them knowing it was stolen. He just did the right thing afterwards and gave them back. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> the whole thing is crazy. 